Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our Music City Bowl game preview between the North Carolina State Wolfpack and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with North Carolina State. When you look at the Wolfpack in this matchup, you have to like their pro-style offensive attack led by quarterback Mike Glennon. This is a guy that can make all the throws. You just have to give him time in the pocket, and we know how much their offensive line has struggled throughout the year. So that's why I think the misdirection game versus Vanderbilt will be useful. That's your screens, your counters, your traps. I think that can help neutralize the rush or the pressure that's going to come from that Vanderbilt defensive front. So try to get Mario Carter involved, Shadrick Thornton, the outstanding freshman running back involved. Try to work other options in the offensive game plan. I think they can have some success. Now, defensively, when you look at Amerson versus Jordan Matthews, that's going to be the biggest matchup that I want to see. Two pro prospects going head-to-head, -head, and Amerson needs to have a big game going into the offseason if he decides to leave. And linebacker Sterling Lucas versus the running game. Keeping Vanderbilt in third and long situations goes a long way in helping the Wolfpack be able to be more aggressive defensively with their safeties like Wolf to get back there and cause problems in the passing game. Now let's look at Vanderbilt in this matchup. When you look at the pressure style defense that's consistently making plays at or behind the line of scrimmage, you have to be excited about what they bring to the table in this matchup. Their D-line is led by Walker May, and the rest of that defense front has to be licking their chops to go against his Wolfpack offensive line. Zone blitzing Mike Glennon probably will be the best option of attack against this passing game of North Carolina State. He tends to hold the football a little bit too long, and they should have that half a second more to get back there and cause disruption. Defensively, when you look at their red zone offense, they have to do a better job of paying off this game versus NC State. Why? Because we know their secondary is outstanding. Two legit 6-3 corners on the flanks. They match up very well with Matthews and Boyd. So look for Jordan Rodgers, the quarterback, to work other options in a passing game. Maybe Zach Stacy in the screen game or maybe tight end Chris Quintero. They're going to have to find other options in order to have success versus this Wolfpack secondary. Mike Glennon has every tool that you want as a quarterback. He's tall, he has a size, he has a strong arm, he can make all the throws short and long. But the question is, can he read coverages, can he read defenses, and can he get out of the way when he's blitzed? And that's going to be the biggest question he's going to have to answer moving forward in this draft process. And if you're looking for a running back that has that quote-unquote Alfred Morris-like surprise ability, that consistency type factor, that guy that's going to find his way on a roster and probably be a starter on some team, is Zach Stacy, 5'9", 215 pounds, Productive runner at Vanderbilt may not be flashy, but definitely can get the job done at the next level. Phillip Rivers is the greatest quarterback in NC State history. That's why he's a campus legend, in my opinion. This guy played from 2000 to 2003, over 13,000 yards passing, 63% completion percentage, and 95 touchdowns. He left NC State as a career leader in every statistical passing category known to man. Corey Chavis was a smart, heady, instinctive defensive back for the Vanderbilt Commodores during the mid-90s when these guys had very good defenses and were very underrated on the defensive side of the football. 12 career interceptions puts him at the top of the list, and he's definitely, in my opinion, a campus legend. I like Vanderbilt in this ball game. When I look at the Commodores up front defensively, I think they have a huge advantage going against that offensive line of NC State. Now, they have played better, but this is a different animal they're going against, and I think they will be able to get their twists and stunts going up front to confuse Mike Glennon into some errant passes. Now, on offense, Vanderbilt will be able to run the football, and passing the football may not be as successful going against a very talented secondary in the Wolfpack, but I do believe they should be able to make at least one or two big plays in the passing game, and that will be all that is needed in order to come away Music City Bowl champions.